Did you know King Charles III doesn't squeeze his own toothpaste and has his shoelaces ironed? But before we get into today's facts, welcome to Random Facts with Neil, the channel that explores the world of random, fun, interesting, pointless facts. As somebody that loves to learn new stuff, I'm constantly challenging myself to find new ways to do it. So I said to myself, self, how about a YouTube channel? And here we are. So I'm hoping you will join me on my quest for knowledge by hitting the subscribe button, then turn on all notifications and meet me back here every week and we'll learn some new fun random stuff together. All right, ready? Let's go. Fact number one, how do you feel about your birthday? Is it something that you look forward to every year? Is it something that you dread? Generally speaking, as kids, we obviously enjoy them, and then the older you get, the more and more you kind of just don't want to think about it. So, uh, But what if you had two of them every year? That would really drive the aging point home. Well, did you know that British monarchs actually do have two birthdays every year? And the reason for this? Uh, the weather. That's right. So this tradition was started back in 1748 by King George II, whose birthday was in November, and just like most months in Great Britain, November's pretty cold. So he wanted to have this big celebration that his loyal subjects could participate in. So being the considerate king that he was, instead of having them freeze in November, he just decided, I'm just going to do it in June. So he did it in June. So going forward, the king celebrated his birthday twice a year, November and June, and that way his subjects got to participate. They got to have a big celebration that was outside. So since then, monarchs have had two birthdays, uh, except in the rare instances where the king or queen has had a birthday that falls during a summer month. A great example of this is King George V, whose birthday was in June. So he decided to forego the tradition and just do his birthday once a year, like, like common folk. So. As for our most recent queen, Queen Elizabeth II, whose birthday was April 21st, it's still not quite warm enough in Great Britain to do an outdoor thing. So she would actually celebrate her second birthday on the second Saturday of every June. So, and on a side note, I think it's only fair that we set the record straight with, with this. Um, living in the age of meme, I know we all saw this one when Queen Elizabeth II passed away. So I think it's only fair that we do the proper math given this new information. So she was 25 when she took the throne. She ruled for 70 years. So 25, 70, times two, 165, blowout. Fact number two, if you have any pets at home, you know that they take a lot of time, energy, money to see to their well-being. And that's just one household worth of pets. Imagine if you had an entire nation's worth of animals to worry about. Did you know King Charles III actually owns all of the swans in England and Wales? Now, as made up as that might sound, it's actually not. And uh, this is actually something that dates all the way back to the 12th century when it was legislated in the law. So swans were, at the time, very sought after birds for uh, special occasions like feasts and celebrations. So the monarchy, looking at this as a commodity, decided, we're just going to claim them all. So they did. They just claimed all the swans. <laughs> so um, they would even brand their beaks so uh, you could see that they were owned by the crown. And the only way you could get one is to be gifted one by the crown. So as crazy as that sounds, there's even a royal position that is responsible for the well-being of all the swans in the open waters of England and Wales. And they don't tend to each individual swan, but they do work with conservation groups and uh, to make sure they're protected and I guess have what they need. Kind of like a swan concierge. I don't think they're getting them West End tickets or anything, but it sounds like a big, big job. Maybe they want to import some of the geese we have here because geese are good for they're they're mean and all they just shit on every golf course they can possibly find. Fact number three. If you've ever met a famous person, your first instinct is probably been to ask for their autograph, right? 
whether it's a famous athlete, musician, uh, actor, actress, YouTube channel hack. I don't know. There's just something a little more personal about their written signature that's just cooler than most memorabilia. Well, if you ever happen to run into a member of the royal family, you're probably going to be disappointed because did you know royal family members are actually forbidden to sign autographs? Now, the reason behind this is pretty straightforward. They are, they're worried about forgery. They don't want their signatures used for uh, nefarious, uh, nefarious reasons, like if you need a co-signer on your student loan or something, I don't know. But uh, I would have assumed that they would just have a surrogate next to them anyway signing it, but, but what do I know? So, um, And now that we are in the age of cell phones, it's also forbidden for royal family members to take selfies. So I guess you could say that it's, that it's crowned upon. Jeez. Fact number four. Now we're going to talk about the royal line of succession, which really doesn't come up all that much since, generally speaking, monarchs tend to rule for quite a while, um, from anywhere from several years to several decades. And actually, the most recent time that the line of succession has come up is with the passing of Queen Elizabeth II in September of 2022, at which time the throne passed to her son, now King Charles III. Hey, just uh, real, real quick, I just want to disclaimer before you guys crush me in the comments on this one. Uh, yes, we do recognize that certain family drama may impact this particular fact. Uh, however, here at Random Facts for Meal, we don't do drama. We just do facts. So this is based solely on the bloodline rules of succession. So just keep that in mind. So carry on. So if we're talking about the line of succession going forward, now that King Charles III is king, first to succeed him would be his firstborn son, William, Prince William. So who's behind him? Well, it's got to be his brother, Prince Harry, right? Uh... Actually, no. But you might say, wait a minute. King Edward VIII abdicated the throne to Mary Wallace Simpson in 1936, and the throne passed to his brother. Well, there's one difference between that and this. Um, actually, there's three. Uh, William's children. Did you know Prince Harry, King Charles III's second son, is actually currently fifth in line to succeed the throne? So, unlike King Edward VIII, who had no children, Prince William currently has three. And who knows if that number is going to go up. So, Prince Harry's probably going to have to wait a little bit. Unless he finds a sword to pull out of a rock somewhere. It's going to be a long wait. Fact number five. Let's talk about rain. Not that rain. Rain. Right. Well, when talking about rain as it relates to the British monarchy, which goes back approximately 1,200 years, during which time there have been 62 different reigning monarchs, kings and queens, throughout that time. Um, did you know that of all those, Queen Elizabeth II is actually the longest reigning monarch of all time, with a reign of 70 years, 214 days. It's a long time. She was 25 years old when she took the throne in 1952, after her father passed away. Um, she was then coronated the following year in 1953, and then she reigned until uh, September of 2022, and uh, that was pretty long. Now, in second place is Queen Victoria, whose reign went from 1837 to 1901, so she came in at 63 years, 216 days. And in third place, I guess to, sh to show, King George III, uh, who reigned from 1760 to 1820, with a reign of 59 years, 96 days. So, top three, pretty pretty long reigns. I mean, when it rains, when it rains, it, I'm not saying that. All right, let's recap today's facts. Fact number one, British monarchs celebrate two birthdays each year. Fact number two, King, King Charles III owns all the swans in England and Wales. It still makes me laugh. Fact number three, Members of the royal family are forbidden to sign autographs. Fact number four, Prince Harry, King Charles III's second son, is currently fifth in line for the throne. And fact number five, Queen Elizabeth II is the longest reigning monarch in the history of the British monarchy. 
All right, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Hope you got something out of today's video. In addition to subscribing, I hope you'll check out our social media platforms as well for more fun random facts. This has been Random Facts with Neil, and now we know what we didn't know.